So we have two functions, f and g, and we have to prove that if g o f is surjective, then so is g. Let's go ahead and do it, proof. We'll start by supposing that g o f is surjective. So suppose that g o f, which maps a to c, is surjective. The claim is that little g is also subjective. So take any little y in the codomain of little g. So the codomain of little g is capital C. We have to somehow produce an element in the domain of g, which is capital B, such that little g of our element, which I'll call little b, is equal to y. So we have to find little b. Now c happens to be the codomain of gof and gof is a surjection. So since gof is surjective, there exists some say little a in capital A such that g o f of little a is equal to y. But this can be written as g of f of a equal to y. And f of a is in b because f takes a to b. So set little b equal to f of a and that's in capital B. Then little g of b well that's little g of f of a and we know that that's equal to y. So we started with some arbitrary or some y we said we said take, take any y in capital C, and we found an element little b in capital B such that g of little b is equal to y. That's exactly what it means for little g to be a surjection. So therefore, g is surjective. And that's the proof. I hope this helps.